So this month took forever, but a lot of crazy stuff happened. A lot of sweet Bronco news. So let's jump in. All right, as usual in the Bronco breakdown, starting off with Bronco news, the big thing that happened early in the month was the release of the spy pictures for the 2020 Bronco. Let's see what we got. I've been waiting a whole month to see this. Jeez. Oh, These Jeep fails are crazy. Jeep Wrangler competition, I think yes. Easy peasy. 2020 Ford Bronco spy pictures. And... See, it's the exact same thing. <sighs> I mean, it honestly looks like a Dodge and a paralyzed Toyota went to Virginia, did the stanky, and nine months later, this is what we get. Here's the deal, guys, is you can rest easy because that is 100% not the 2020 Ford Bronco. I was concerned too, but after I did some research, I found out that that is what they call a mule. What a mule does is it basically tests things like suspension and ride quality without giving off the, uh, the look of the vehicle. So I have no idea what is under that camouflage. I think it's just a slapped together piece of, um, this is a family show. A piece of crap, I think I can say that. A piece of crap that is testing Bronco ride quality and suspension and stuff like that. You can't tell because you see the little bristles covering the, uh, the fender wells and whatever, so they're obviously keeping that stuff a secret. That is what I am going for. That's what helps me sleep at night. So if you guys want to believe that that's the 2020 Ford Bronco, um, Good luck getting through life. So yeah, it's not the actual Bronco. Now, if you aren't convinced, check out this next bit of Bronco news. As we continue to delve through the web of the Ford Bronco, at the end of the month, we got word that Ford housed an exclusive dealer viewing, uh, where top dealers got a glimpse of the 2020 Ford Bronco. And when I say exclusive, top secret, I mean phones were confiscated, glasses and belts were checked for sound and cameras and they had to take their shoes off and metal detectors and just heavy duty security, I'm sure. Uh, if any of you guys were at that event, hit me up, my email's below, we'll work something out. At this dealer meeting, Ford announced that the Ford Bronco will be part of a larger family of off-road vehicles, along with that rumored Ford Baby Bronco, as they call it. A uh, couple others, the link is below for that write-up, so if you guys want to read about that, you can check it out. Now, let's not move on from that super duper secret dealer meeting, because and this is where it gets fun. We had an inside man. Well, we talked to a guy at Arizona who had an inside man. And that inside man said, and I quote, It's not bad. No, I'm just kidding. No. He said, Bronco guys won't be disappointed. And the cool thing about that is this dude is a Bronco guy himself. Drives a classic early Bronco. So him saying that gives me some hope. You know, it's not just a, 
a Prius driving nincompoop. Nothing against Prius drivers. I would totally drive one if my manhood allowed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd 100% drive a Prius. You can hate me for that too, because either way I would get hated for any of those statements. So anyways, we won't be disappointed. If that statement gets you guys hyped about the 2020 Ford Bronco again, then Ford is doing their job. But maybe they paid him to say that. Anyways, that is all the 2020 Bronco news as of yet. Jumping back into the existing Bronco world, a Bronco shop that a lot of you guys are familiar with, Max Slider Brothers Customs, took their two-door and their four-door Broncos to the Detroit Autorama Show. And would you believe it if I told you that they won first place in their respective categories? You would if you saw these rigs. Beautiful Broncos. No surprises that they won the best in their class. Congrats to you guys, Max Slider. You guys are doing a great job. Next up on YouTube, we have the Tall Guy Car Reviews. Review a full-size Bronco owned by James Shaw, who was the Waffle House hero, the one who disarmed the active shooter. Maybe some of you guys know about that. But he owns a Bronco. They had an interesting talk about their mission and got to talking about the Bronco at the end. If you want to check it out, the link's below. There are a couple videos, so I will link both. Another scoop on YouTube is Flying Sparks Garage pulled the engine out of their Bronco and are continuing to cover the ins and outs of their Bronco recoup. So they made a sick video about the engine pull. Link is below. Next up, if you subscribe to our channel or watch our YouTube videos, then you saw that we released the Arizona Bronco Stampede recap a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was a super chill event. Would have been a lot better if I didn't blow up my transmission, but oh well. I won't say too much about this event because I made a whole video on it, so if you wanna see what went down at that event, go check out the video. Guess what? Links below. Now, last but not least, for all of you car enthusiasts, specifically Bronco enthusiasts, this one will make you happy. At the Arizona Stampede, Todd Zerker personally told us that he will be releasing his very own Bronco history book. Now, if you don't know who Todd Zerker is, he's basically a mastermind on Classic Broncos Forum. He answers all of the questions. He knows a ton. So, uh, the book will be called A History of Ford's Legendary 4x4 Ford Bronco. And it will be available here in a few weeks. But I will let Todd say a few words about it. Take it away, Todd. So I've written a new history book on the history of the Ford Bronco. It covers 1966 to 1996, including the Bronco II, for all you Bronco II folks out there. It covers the five generations of the Bronco and talks about the various features of the models. Uh, it has a chapter on racing, so there's a lot about Parnelli Jones and Rod Hall and all the folks that have raced Broncos in the dirt. Just some great photos that people probably haven't seen yet. I know the history of the Bronco is pretty well known to a lot of people, but I'm hoping that with this book, there's at least one photo or one little tidbit about the Bronco that uh, maybe folks haven't seen or, or heard about before and so I think it's a great book for that. It's hardcover, it's about 200 pages and uh, it's going to be available in uh, mid-April or early May. So yeah, we will let you guys know when that's available. Keep an eye out. Anyways, that is your last scoop of Bronco news. Now it is time to see what is new to the table. Alright guys, so we're going to jump into our new products. The first new product of the month that we have is our brand spanking new reclining seats. And today, I brought Jeremy here to give the sales pitch on them. What makes them so freaking awesome? Well, we could start off by saying that they're fully reclinable. Ooh, fully right. reclinable, fully slidable. Action packed. And <laughs> action packed. Nice vinyl material that's easy to clean. Almost feels as comfortable as like a leather, but not with that sticky. If you live in a hot environment, you know it's sticky and you don't want a leather sticking to your back or your neck or your Brilliant crack. Cool. <laughs> and this is vinyl. <laughs> There's also a pocket back here for your kids to store all their goldfish and Cheerios in the back of your Bronco here. A little snack pack. 
<laughs> Hopefully they're still in, in the packs and your kids aren't just... Right. That's what popped into my head. Maybe some right. french fries. Yes. Some french fries back there. Yes. Who needs the air freshener when you got McDonald's french fries? It does come with a heavy duty, durable foam for long lasting comfort. Uh, it's got the adjustable headrest for you tall guys out there. Uh, so when you're reclining back, uh, sleeping or... No one wants that whiplash when you're going down the trail. Put your head in the, in the headrest and rest your neck. Rest your neck, <laughs> yes. Now, with these seats, we do have mounting and storage options available. I believe there are three different options that you can choose from. Click the link down below to see <laughs> all of the options. <laughs> oh, we suck at this. Click the link down below to see all of the options as far as that. And uh, that's kind of it with those. Oh, one thing is they do come uh, with black or gray color options. So you can go with either of those and, and match whatever. I don't know. He match knows whatever how, black or gray. He knows how to match. I don't really care, obviously. This matches, right? Anyways, the next product is uh, the rear seat. Uh, uh, tell them about that. What's what's so cool about our rear seat? Rear seat is a uh, matching material, nice vinyl, almost feels like leather, very comfortable, very easy to clean. Kids sit back there, spill their soda, spill whatever they're gonna eat. Uh, easy to wipe Your off. Grandma can sit back there too. Fully fold and tumble. Fully foldable tumble, so you could put whatever you want in the back. Matching black or gray, we have both sets available. Yeah, basically uh, a pair. Very easy to install. Your very easy to install, or you could just get front seats. It doesn't need to come in the whole set, or just the rear seat. Like you could just get the rear seat and not even run. Or you could seat. just get one seat and run it in the middle of your Bronco. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, for both of those seats, uh, there's more info online to check them out. So they are actually super sick, even though we're not very good at uh, <laughs> making them sound very awesome. <laughs> They do have enough room for you to put a nice eight, maybe even a 10 inch console in between with your seat belts right here. So you do have some, some room in between. A lot of other seats are a lot fatter, but they don't constrict your hips here. For the bigger guys like myself, you don't feel like you're being hugged from behind. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Who doesn't like a good old hug from behind? You don't want a man hug. Hey, it's the boss. We're getting stuff oh, done. Look at that. Here, come, come talk about the seats. What do you got? What do you got for us? This is the the big boss man, Jim Creel. He's gonna say stuff that we forgot about the seats. Nice, comfortable. Okay, we said that. So we covered everything. <laughs> Super awesome. Anyways, guys, those are your new seats. Link in the bio to check them out. Peace. Now, of course, the biggest product release of the month was the new. Wild Horses exclusive Fuel Zephyr. You may have seen the Zephyr round before in the six lug bolt pattern, but because they look so bad donkey, we reached out to Fuel and asked if they can make us a limited edition run of these sweet looking wheels in a five by five and a half inch bolt pattern. And obviously they said yes. These wheels fit most generations of Broncos without the use of a six lug adapter. Now you may need to use a wheel spacer, but that's up to you to decide. All of the tech information is on our website, so I won't dive into all of that, but if you're looking to up your wheel game, you definitely want to check these out. And there we go, those are your new products for March. We had a bit of a delay with some of the other new products that were supposed to go into this video, but rest assured, they will be in next month's Bronco Breakdown. So make sure you describe, make sure you, what? Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what is coming. But now it is time to look into the future. What is coming up? Well, obviously our Wild Horses Roundup uh, is happening in a couple days actually. Jeez, I guess this depends on when I post this, but uh, our roundup, if you're watching this before April 6th, then you still have time to make it. It's gonna be sick. There's gonna be all sorts of exciting stuff happening at this event this year, so you don't want to miss out. Now, if you're watching this on April 6th, 
or after. I think most of you will be watching this after, then you missed out and I'm sorry. But anyways, because everything is so dang close, when you're watching this video, we will also probably be on the road to Super Celebration. But yeah, you heard right. Immediately after our event, we will be loading up the trailer to take off to Townsend, Tennessee. Now, it kind of sucks this year because uh, all of these events weren't consecutive, so it doesn't feel right calling it the Bronco Tour, but this is basically the 2019 Bronco Tour. We aren't going to Texas this year just because everything got so busy and this month is crazy packed, but uh, Super Celebration, we will most definitely be there. Uh, at the end of the month, beginning of May, we will be at the Bronco Safari, as far as I know. Now, things can go down like all of our transmissions break, then we don't have a Bronco to go, and then there's not really a point. But that shouldn't happen, right? Anyway, staying with what's close, Super Celebration, uh, we'll be taking all of our sweet displays. Um, we tried to get my Bronco running in time, but that obviously isn't gonna work because at the time of shooting this, I have a week to put a transmission in it, which I could, but I've got to edit this and it's just not happening. But stop by our booth, kick it with us, see what Bronco we decide to throw in the trailer and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys there. Other than that, I will apologize in advance because I won't be able to edit our roundup video because of everything being so consecutive. So I'll be out of the game for probably two weeks and as soon as I get back, I'll work on that. After that, we'll get caught up with the Super Celebration video. Uh, and of course, at the end of the month, beginning of May, we've got the Moab Barker Safari. Um, so I'll be editing that video. You know, the part three of the top 10 Bronco upgrades is just gonna have to wait. We're just kicking it to the curb. We'll get to it eventually. Anyways, guys, I know this was a long one. I know that your guys' lunches are probably almost over. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the March edition of the Bronco Breakdown. We've got the last part of the Bronco Breakdown, and that is the first official Bronco pick of the month. Basically the Bronco of the month, I don't, I don't know. Pick, Bronco, Bronco pick. Anyways, Tom Caruso sent in some sweet pictures of his 75 Bronco. He's on a two and a half inch lift with, uh, shoot. Forgot to write down the tire size. I'll insert it here. He's on tires. Uh, he's running a fuel injected Mustang 302 5.0 high output motor, and he's got a ton of other little bells and whistles on that thing as well. This is a bad looking Bronco, and by bad, I mean freaking awesome. Uh, I think probably what sold us on it was the jet in the background, because if you don't look at it too closely, it looks mounted to the top of his Bronco, which is a trippy image to have in your head. Awesome job, Tom. Thank you a ton for submitting your pictures. Uh, and thank you for watching the channel. We appreciate you, and I hope you and the fam have a blast with your rig. And with that being said, that brings us to the end of the March edition of the Bronco Breakdown. This was a good one, but we've got a ton of other sick Bronco stuff coming, especially with all the events starting to kick off. So if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and join the Wild Horses Herd and stay up to date on everything Ford Bronco. Anyways, guys, as always, with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail. And very soon. <laughs> Peace! Wild horses. I'm starting to call them the Wild Horses Herd. So uh, there are. What up, YouTube Herd? The Herd, dude. The Herd. Like that. Yeah. The herd. I don't know about you guys, but. We are the weirdest herd I've ever seen. Thanks for tuning in, herd. <laughs>